you get this interesting returns picture on your screen. Which one will you select to invest your money? Fund A, which has given a 5-year trailing returns of 24.37% or Fund B, with 5-year rolling returns of 17.4% or Fund C, with annual returns of 37.5%. If you have made a choice, please spare a second or two and mention your answer in the comment section before proceeding. Now, what if I tell you that these three returns belong to the same fund? Yes. These are the returns delivered by the largest fund in the FlexiCap space, Parag Parik FlexiCap Fund. So the question of which one is better based on these returns is not valid only. But then how come there is so much difference in the returns? Which is the true return? The most important question, did your investment of 100 rupees grew to 124 or 117 or 137 in one year period? Well. This is what we are going to discuss in today's video. This video is for new investors who do not understand the dynamics of different types of returns when it comes to selecting mutual funds. Hello and welcome to our channel 5 Minute Finance by ET Money where we talk about the basics of personal finance. So in this video we are going to understand the three types of returns, annual returns, CAGR or compounded annual growth rate and rolling returns in detail. We'll understand what they mean, how are they calculated and their pros and cons. By the time this video ends, we'll help you decide which of these three returns is the best one to consider while picking a mutual fund. But before proceeding, it is very important for you to know that we have taken Parag Parik FlexiCap Fund as an example in this video to show some calculations. Please do not treat it as a recommendation. So let's get started with annual returns first. Annual return of a mutual fund or any other investment product shows its performance for the calendar year. Now the calculation is fairly simple. You just need to take two NAVs, first one as on January 1 of the year and second NAV as on December 31 of the same year. Then use the simple math formula on your screen to find out the annual returns. So let's find out the annual return for Parag Parik FlexiCap Fund for the year 2023. So we take the NAV of the scheme as on January 1, 23, which was 51.0882 and NAV as on December 31, 23, which was 70.2435. So 70.24 minus 51.088 divided by 51.088 and then multiply it with 100. The annual return for the fund for 2023 comes out to be 37.5%. Similarly, you can find out annual returns for a fund for multiple years. But how to make sense of the annual returns of a fund? What is its use? Now, looking at the annual returns, you can figure out about the performance of the fund in the long run. In fact, you can get to know about how the fund has performed over different market time periods. But there is one problem. Annual returns do not show us the returns for different periods of investment like in case of equities where people invest for long time periods, typically for 5 years, 7 years, 10 years or even higher. A fund which may have performed well in different calendar years could be underperforming during the overall period under observation. It happens because you are looking at multiple years of annual return. Then there is this big limitation. Annual returns do not show the impact of compounding. Now very quickly, those who do not understand compounding, so compounding is a process where you earn returns not only on the initial investment, but also on the returns generated from that investment over time. So annual returns miss an important factor, compounding. Therefore, we look at trailing returns. Most of us, when we talk about returns in general, we talk about trailing returns. 24.37% is the trailing 5-year return for Parag Parik FlexiCap Fund, which simply means that the fund has grown by an average of 24.37% every year between the two dates, March 6, 2019 and March 5, 2024. Trailing returns are also called as CAGR or Compounded Annual Growth Rate. The formula for calculating trailing returns is on your screen. Now as per the formula, if you want to calculate trailing return of a 5-year period as on today that is 5th March 2024, you'll take the current day's NAV and the NAV as on 6th March 2019. Now if you put these values in the formula, you'll get trailing return for the fund for 5-year period. Similarly, you can calculate the trailing return for any time period. They're also called as point-to-point -point returns. 
So unlike annual returns, now with trailing returns, you can find out returns of mutual funds or stocks or any other asset class for any time period, say 5 years, 7 years, 10 years and so on. And it takes care of compounding as well. Okay. Now let me ask you a simple question. Two funds, fund A and fund B, have both given trailing returns of 10% in the last 10 years. So which one is better? Can you tell me only on the basis of trailing returns? Now look at your screens. Now tell me which fund is better. It becomes easy. As we can see, while the average annual return of the two funds over the last 10 years is same, one of the two funds is more volatile than the other. So you would be better off with fund A, which is less volatile than the other fund. So only looking at the 10% trailing return would never give you any idea about the volatility in both the funds past performance. As they are point to point returns, they fail to capture the fluctuations in the fund's performance during that period. Now this is where the rolling returns come into picture. Listen to this carefully. Suppose you want to invest for a 5 year period in a fund. But before investing, you want to check how the fund has performed in all the 5 year time periods that were there in the last 10 years. So between say 2014 and 2023. Now let me tell you that there were 1,233 5 year periods in the 10 year time frame that we have taken. So first 5 year period was from 1st January 2014 to 31st December 2018. Second 5 year period was from 2nd January 2014 to 1st January 2019 and so on till the last possible 5 year period from 1st January 2019 to 31st December 2023. So here are the returns of all the 1,233 five-year time periods on your screen. Now I took the average of these returns. The average is what is called as the rolling returns of a fund. So understand it like this. Rolling return is like calculating trailing return assuming you are investing on a daily basis. As you can say, it is like a daily SIP for a certain interval and then taking an average of the series of returns. So coming to 17.4% 5 year rolling returns of PPFAS FlexiCap fund. What does it mean? So 17.4% is the average return of all the 1,233 5 year periods that were there in the 10 year period from 2014 to 2023. There's more. Now look at the table. So from the 1,233 instances of 5-year returns, we found out that fund has never given a negative return had you invested for 5 years at any time during 2014 and 2019. 0.14% of the times it has given returns between 0 and 5%. 69% of the times it has given a return between 10 and 20%. And 27% of the times it delivered higher than 20% returns. So rolling returns can tell you a lot about a fund's performance. Rolling returns capture the ups and downs that is the volatility of a fund which trailing returns are not able to. Thus rolling returns become a useful metric in knowing how consistently a fund has performed over a particular period. Now all three types of returns, annual, trailing and rolling stand out on different fronts. We can't be biased towards any single kind of return. For instance, annual return and rolling returns can be useful to gauge the volatility or consistency in a fund's performance. The trailing return may not show these aspects, but it is useful to show the compounding effect on returns. Now while selecting a mutual fund, you need to look at all the three types of returns wisely and take your call. This brings us to the end of the video. We have many more videos to help you get started with your investment journey. Don't forget to scroll through our channel and give us a lot of likes to keep us motivated to help you begin your investment journey. Also, don't forget to subscribe and we'll come with another insightful video soon. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.